UK-based chipmaker Graphcore has flown a bit under the radar this year, but that unlikely will be the case in 2021, as the NVIDIA rival this week raised $222 million in fresh capital. The company is now valued at $2.77 billion. Let's so welcome Graphcore co-founder and CEO Nigel Toon for more on the company's plans. Nigel, good to good to have you here this morning. So for those uh, viewers not too familiar with Graphcore, how is what you're doing different some uh, compared to some of the more names that they that they are familiar with like a like an AMD and Nvidia yeah we have developed a completely new type of uh, processor built from the ground up especially for AI we have many more processor cores uh, inside the chip we have a very different interconnect between those processor cores and it really delivers a very different set of performance capabilities for customers, really accelerates for a wide range of AI applications just built uh, exactly for that application. So Nigel, this is a nice chug, chunk of money that you uh, you did in fact raise this week. How does how you use that money change uh, if an NVIDIA does go out there and they're able to get that deal, that $40 billion deal confirmed with ARM? I think for us, you know, we are absolutely focused on running as fast as we can. We're driving a, a, a strong roadmap. We've already built the world's most sophisticated microprocessor. We have 59 billion transistors on our chip. Um, we're delivering much higher performance than the NVIDIA GPUs. Um, you know, we're obviously concerned about you know nvidia buying arm not so much for ourselves but more just because it's not good for um competition um you know we don't think it's good for the industry uh we think it it cuts off access to this advanced technology potentially uh for other companies in the semiconductor space and i think it'll be bad for competition overall and then Nigel, kind of going back to um, the technology itself, I'm, I'm curious, you know, maybe for a, a lay audience, I mean, you know, I don't really know anything about uh, semiconductors and chips and all that. What is the difference between the, the computing power that's necessary to run some of the AI applications that we hear so much buzz about? And, you know, how much different does um, does what you guys are making need to be? How much more power, I guess, does it need to have than sort of what is out on the market uh, relative to the goals, again, that I think, you know, the, the real evangelists for, for AI kind of see as possible in the next couple of decades? Yeah. Well, I think the big thing to, to realize is that for 75 years, we have been um, telling computers what to do step by step in a program. And now the computers are learning from data. And that is a completely different type of compute. It requires a completely different type of processing solution. Um, and you can't just take what exists today and apply it. You can get some performance, but really you re need to sit down and create a completely new type of processor for this new market. And, and that's what Graphcore has done. And that's why we're able to get this much higher level of performance. This is a processor designed to learn from data, um, designed to support artificial intelligence. So Nigel, it's Julie here. Um, that sounds expensive, again, to a lay person, um, both sort of the R&D to develop that kind of chip and then perhaps the production of it. So talk to me about your cost structure. Um, it's my understanding that you are not yet profitable. Um, what would be sort of the critical mass that you would need to reach in terms of your sales in order to get there? Well, we have about 500 people in the company today. Um, we're growing still very, very fast. We have raised so far since the company started just four years ago, we've raised over $700 million, but we actually have nearly $450 million of cash uh, at the bank. Um, so we have all the resources we need to be able to grow our revenues and to you know, really be able to build a very large business here. And obviously, these very large investors who are coming in and supporting the company, you know, they can see the potential uh, behind what we're doing and the, and the huge uh, market opportunity that is in front of us. So this is, you know, very much about running as fast as we can, building this incredible technology and growing um, to become a major player in the marketplace. Nigel, uh, you're no familiar to doing deals. You sold a uh, business, I believe, back in 2011 to NVIDIA. What are, you, what are you more inclined to do? Do you see Graphcore being part of another major chip maker, or is 2021 the year that 
uh, you continue to build your business and then IPO later in the year? Yeah, I think 2021 would be too early for us to IPO. We need to really knuckle down and build our business over the next 12, 18 months. And then we'll see you know, where we are uh, at that stage. But this is a massive market opportunity. And I think there is the opportunity to build a business that is designing and supplying these new types of processes for what will be the most important computing workload on the planet. You know, AI is going to dominate a lot of new uh, application areas, and, and there is the opportunity to create a specialist company that is focused in on that, just as we saw in mobile, just as we saw, you know, originally with, with computers. You know, this is a new paradigm, and new companies will emerge here, and I think GraphCore is at the leading wave of that. Well, we look forward to following your journey for sure in the new year. GraphCore co-founder and CEO, Nigel Toon, happy new year. We'll talk to you soon. Happy new year. Thank you very much.